Dear all, welcome to Simplified Triple Studies. In this session, I'm going to discuss most important questions related to one of the subject, namely scientific foundation of health, which is one of the one credit subject for VTU. So let me directly discuss the model question paper, which is prescribed by the university. I would like to share the screen of the particular question paper. Let me share the screen. As you can see, uh, we have the model question paper of the subject, uh, scientific foundation of health, uh, which is mandatory for all the engineering students. Let us directly move on to the discussion. Let's see the first question. Which of the following statement is correct? So please read all the statement. Health promotion can refer to any event, process or activity that facilitates the protection or environment of the health status of individuals, groups, communities, or population. The second one is the objective of health promotion is to prolong life and improve the quality of life. And the third one is health promotion practice is often shaped by how health is conceptualized. And the last statement is all of the above, all of these. Yes, of course, in this particular question, we can directly say that all the statements are 100% uh, related to a better health. All right. So I would like to choose the answer as option uh, D. Option D is the right answer. All of the answers are correct. Moving on to the second question, please read out the second question. So first question we have cleared. The second question is, this approach is health promotion is synonyms with the health education as it aims to increase individual's knowledge about the cause of health and illness. So option A, behavior change approach, community development approach, biomedical approach, and end of this, which would be the right answer related to this particular statement. First of all, I request everybody to read the sentence and understand. That is very important. You have to understand. All right. So I have read the sentence and I came to know that. So this particular statement is 100% correlated to, it is 100% matching to the statement B, community development approach. The whole statement, please read out the whole statement. The complete statement is related to community development approach. So let me confirm the answer as option B. Please select the option. It is very important because it's an objective type question. Uh, the uh, the right option, selection of right option is very much important. Otherwise, if you select a wrong answer, you never get any credit. Uh, remember that there is no negative marking, but before uh, confirming the answer, you should have a wise selection. Question number three, signs of medical illness are abnormal change in thinking, perception and judgments, abnormal change in feeling and memory, both option A and B, then D is abnormal changes in behavior towards others, which would be the right answer. Of course, a sign of mental illness or I can say that abnormal change in thinking, perception, that is correct. Abnormal changes in feeling and memory, that is also correct. So definitely option C, I'm strongly recommending option C, but one more option is there, no? What about one more option? Abnormal changes in behaviors towards others. I think uh, the, the last option, fourth option is not matching. So obviously, I would like to select option A and B. Both are correct. So please select option C. Option C is the correct answer. Now, very important point, question number four. Psychosis is characterized by loss of touch with reality, prolonged emotional reaction to given stress, anxiety, fear, sadness, wage, ache, and pain, and all of these. Which would be the right answer? Psychosis is nothing but... Uh, loss of reality. We can say that loss of touch with the reality. I would like to select option A. Option A is the proper answer, right answer for this particular question. Kindly make a note of this. Let's proceed further. Question number five, the percentage of population suffering from serious mental illness is, which would be the right answer. From the data, the percentage of population suffering from the serious mental illness is approximately 10 percentage. 10 percentage is the right answer, which is already available in the study material. And from the data, it is saying that 10 percentage of the population is suffering from mental illness. Question number six, a, a thirst uh, area in community health is, which would be the right answer. Prevention and control of uh, communicable diseases, prevention of 
blindness and uh, maternal and child health and the last option is uh, school health services so question number 6 a, a thrust area a thrust area in community health is prevention of blindness option b option b is the right answer kindly select option b and i request everybody to note down the right answer similar kind of questions may be asked in the examination or same questions can be repeated okay it's an object the general type of questions obviously it's applicable for all the uh, branches of engineering as well as similar kind of uh, domain fine so uh, kindly make a note of this i think question number six is clear to everybody moving on to the question number seven People suffering from mental disease in India uh, number. You have to identify the approximate number where the, uh, pe uh, the people are suffering uh, in the mental disorder. So uh, in the data says that uh, 10 to 15 million, there are 10 to 15 million people are suffering from mental disorders here in India. So please select option C. Option C is the right answer for this particular question. Kindly select this. Question number eight, what state uh, can do avoid addiction? So, you know, you know the uh, impact, you have to understand the impact of addiction. So, please read all the four options, uh, adding higher tax on sweetened beverages, uh, benefits for organic foods, availability of healthy food and uh, all of these, which would be the right answer. So, question number D, of course, I would like to go for option D. Option D is the right answer. So, all three options are correlating. And I need to go ahead with the option D. I hope you will select option D. Okay, please confirm it. Kindly note down this particular point in your diary or wherever you can remember. All right. Now I would like to move on. Question number nine. So please read question number nine. Social health hazards include stigma, antisocial behavior, higher crime records, and all of these. Question number nine uh, D. Nine D is the right answer. I would like to go for question number. Uh, ninth, the answer is D, stigma, antisocial behavior, high crime records, all are belong to social health hazards. Question number 10, what offer factors increase the risk of addiction? This is also another question related to addiction. Uh, when it comes to question number 10, I would like to go for addiction that is belong to mental illness as well as early use. So please go ahead with the option uh, C, that is two statements are correct. So finally, ultimate, the, the optimum answer should be uh, uh, option number C. Anyway, you can directly reject option D on spot itself. But when it comes to uh, the right answer, it uh, two statements are correlating. So kindly go ahead with the uh, option C. I think uh, you have got an idea about how to identify the proper answer. Fine. Yes. Now I would like to move ahead with the question, remaining question. Question number 11 and 12 at the C. Moving on to question number 11. Why do some people become addicted to drugs while others are not? So what could be the answer? Aggressive behavior in childhood, parenting, monitoring, neighborhood, all of the above. So definitely uh, these three reasons may be correct. Aggressive behavior in childhood, uh, parental monitoring, okay, the neighborhood, all the things might be influenced. So definitely it is better to select option D. Option D is the right answer for this particular question. Now let's let's move on to question number 12. What is a protective factor for addictions? Positive relationship, drug experimentation, community poverty, and all of the above. Obviously, question number uh, 12. So it is better to select what is the pro protective factors for addiction. Obviously, the protective factors for addiction is, of course, positive relationship. Please select option A. Option A is the optimum answer for this particular question. Hope the things are uh, fine with respect to the discussion. So now I would like to move on question number 13. Uh, types of addictive behavior. Please identify what types of addictive behavior. So 13, alcoholism, of course, it's an addictive behavior. Drug, uh, opium, it's also another type of addictive behavior. Video gaming is also belong to addictive behavior. Of course, I would like to go ahead with the option D. Option D is the right answer uh, for this particular question. You can, you can directly use your common logic, general, uh, general knowledge or common sense or common logic, I can say. Question number 14, mental health hazards includes anxiety, depression, uh, organic mental disorders due to substance use, all of the above. So 14D is also correct. Uh, we can say that mental health hazards are having the following reason. Anxiety is correct. Depression is also absolutely acceptable. And question number C, uh, the option C, organic 
mental disorders due to substance use so, so all three options are correct only so i would like to go ahead with the uh, 14d 14d is the correct answer kindly note on these points in your diary definitely you can recover at the time of examination since it's an objective type questions answer should be specific question number 15 how is substance use disorder treated so which would be the correct answer uh, is a multiple type of treatment uh, recognition of problem alcohol drinking both uh, option a and b actually uh, how is substance use disorder treated multiple type of treatments are available or, or of course recognition of the exact problem so i would like to select uh, the option d which uh, justify uh, the option a and b c option a and b are correct so i would like to go ahead with the uh, option d option d is the right answer kindly make a note of this so another uh, very important uh, question hyper obesity value in terms of B, uh, bmi okay so you need to understand body mass index bmi means body mass index okay so the hyper obesity uh, value in terms of bmi what could be the value of obesity you might have heard about one of the disorder which is facing in the modern community because that is obesity excess of calorie that is one of the reason for obesity so try to have uh, how to have overcome the obesity due to sufficient burning of that calorie by uh, performing uh, suitable exercise and uh, try to burn the calorie also you have to go for a proper syst and systematic uh, dieting you can go ahead so that you can get rid of uh, the obesity okay so the body mass index is one of the calculation based on the body mass index what could be the optimum range of uh, that hi hyper uh, the hyper obesity so which is the right answer according to the statistics and uh, references the right answer is Question number 16, I would like to go for hyper uh, BMI. If the BMI value is above 40, then we'll come to know that it's a hyper obesity. It is one of the severe health disorder, health issue. It has to be overcome. Fine. Because of modern uh, lifestyle, that is one of the reason for obesity. Of course, you know that. Now, let me uh, proceed further. So, question number uh, 17. So, okay, let's move on to question number uh, 17. In future, which of the following will play a vital role in helping the gaming industry uh, demystify uh, the uh, nuisance of gambling problems? Sustainability, a code of conduct, in the, in the internet gaming, experienced recreational gamblers. Question number 17, the right answer is C. Uh, uh, the right answer I would like to select the internet gaming. So please read out the particular for. Uh, question and uh, obviously internet gaming is the appropriate answer for this particular question i hope uh, you have got an idea for, for this particular question question number 18 researchers mental health professionals problem ga uh, gambling organizations and uh, the casino industry have a responsibility to the problem gamblers themselves too which is the right answer question number 18 for question number 18 so uh, avoid unnecessary uh, big, uh, bickering and unite with the common goal of reducing the cost associated with the gambling only. This will be the right answer. I request you to read out the question properly and uh, find out the right answer. Okay. So anyway, I have suggested the answer as question number 18D. Question number 18D is the right answer. So another important, another another two, questions, two more questions. Later, we'll move on to another session. Question number 19, very, very important question. Uh, what is the definition of overweight? Question number 19. Okay. According to question number 19, uh, the overweight is defined as uh, if the body mass index lies between 25 to uh, 29 kilogram per meter square. If the uh, body BMI, BMI stands for body mass induction, body mass index. Okay. BMI is an abbreviation. B stands for body. Uh, M stands for mass, I stand for index. If the body mass index is lies between 25 and 29.9 kilogram per meter square, then it is the uh, definition for overweight. I hope uh, the idea is clear to everybody. It's a general knowledge. You have to remember. Fine. Uh, the last question for this particular session, uh, which of the following diseases does not obesity increases the risk of over, uh, sorry, developing? Which of the following diseases does Obesity increase the risk of developing. What could be the right answer? A type 2 diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and end of the above. Anyway, I can directly 
uh, find out the answer. Uh, see, none of the above, uh, definitely the directly straight, uh, straight rejection. You can go for straight rejection. Among three, which could be the right answer. For 20, uh, which of the following diseases does obesity increase the risk of developing? So I would like to select option A, type 2 diabetes. Okay. So this is the, uh, uh, the right answer for this particular question. In this session, I have discussed uh, the major 20 questions and uh, with a brief explanation. Some questions directly I have given the answer because that is a uh, general knowledge only. Some other question I could uh, uh, elaborate for a certain extent. So I request everyone to note down the valuable points. Definitely that will help for your uh, university exam point of view. First of all, read out the question carefully and try to find out the answer by using the common sense or common logic, I can say. So uh, remaining uh, questions will be discussed in the next session. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.